Hello guys, in this video, let's create a combined spark effect in Niagara. Yes, it's very basic but useful. Okay, let's create a Niagara system. We use empty template and the material we just use default material. Now let's rename this emitter to spark1. And in emitter update, let's add a spawn burst. Spawn count, we can set it to 35. Okay, initialize particle. Lifetime mode, we can select random. Mean is 0 0.15 and max is 0 0.3. Color, we can direct light. Here, we still use a user parameter. Linear color. Okay, then in split size mode, we can select random non-uniform because spark1 is a long shift spark. So here we can set mean 4 and 20, max is 6 and 200. Okay, that's what we want, a long shift spark. Now let's add a velocity, fix issue, and from point. The speed we can use a random range 800 to 500. Okay, in particle update, we can set scale speed size and scale color. Speed size we can use a non uniform curve. The X, we just need to it gradually drop 1 to 0, that's it. Of course, we can add a key here. Let it drop faster at 0 0.2. Okay, and Y, we can set the curve from 0 to 1 to 0. It's same at 0 0.2, the value is 1. And in the end, the value is 0. Okay, now let's add a scale color. We also use a curve from float, same as scale speed size y. And the scale curve, we can set it to 5. alpha we can also use a curve from 1 to 0 and then let's add a drag just by default finally let's change speed rendered alignment we select velocity align okay now we can see the spark effect Okay, now let's change the loop duration in system to make it easier to preview. Let's add a color to it. Maybe a blue. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, now let's create Spark 2. Copy this emitter and rename it to spark2 here is same 35 and in initialize particle we need to change its lifetime 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 and spread size this time we need a little smaller spark so maybe 0 0.6 to 1 and max is 1 to 2 velocity speed we can set it to 1000 to 2000 okay let's preview it uh, the spark are very small now so we basically can't see clearly 
so we can add a scale split size by speed. Okay, mean one and one max, we can set it to 1.5 and 30. Yeah, we can see the spark in preview. And scale split size x, we can just keep it 1. And y is same as spark 1's x, 0 to 1. Okay. Then we can add a gravity force negative 2000 okay and drag we can use a random range plot 1 to 10 okay much better now let's see the spark in the level we can hide in the light Okay, it looks a little dark, so we can change scale color, maybe 100. Yeah, it looks brighter now. Then we copy spark 2, this time we are going to make a highway spark. We name it to spark 3. Bone count is 50 and left time 0 0.3 to 0 0.8 Grid size may be 2 to 3 Okay, it's a big spark and velocity we can make it slower 100 to 500 Yeah, it looks like a heavy spark More gravity effect and then scale split size X is same keep to 1 and Y this time is 0 to 1 to 0 Okay And drag is 1 to 3. Gravity, we don't need to change it. Also, we need a collision. Just keep default. Okay, scale by speed. This time is 1.2 and 15. And scale color, we also don't change it. Okay, let's see the spark in the level. Uh, the highway spark X may be a bit large. Let's find scale by speed. Change it to 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. Yeah, it looks great. Finally, let's add a spark affected by aerodynamic strike. Copy spark 3 and rename it to spark 4. Okay, we can add a ship location. Fear and radius is 100. Okay. Velocity is 200. To 500. Also, we need an initial mesh orientation. We can use this module to match aerodynamic drag to make the force look more realistic. Okay, delete drag. Let's add an aerodynamic drag. Okay, we can see the spark by aerodynamic drag. Pivot offset mean is negative 4, negative 1, negative 1. Max is 4, 
one and one. And our dynamic track the value, we can use a random value. 0.5 to 1.5 and lift contribution is also 0.5 to 1.5 all this parameter we can change it to our needs and then we delete the collision and gravity at the current noise force The strength is also a random value 5000 to 10000 and the plan not field is 1 okay yeah we can see the spark is very nice and then let's change it enough time to 0 0.5 to 1.5 Finally, let's combine these emitters to see the sparks in the level. Loop duration is 2 for preview. Yeah, it looks great. And we can also change its color at any time. Okay, that's all for this video. The spark is very simple, but it's a part of any effect. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye.